one thing I've seen very clearly over the, the decades is that, yes, some things kind of do kind of randomly happen in, in that sense. And this cult will think we can ride this wave to advance our agenda. But anything that is a opportunity to vastly advance that agenda is never random. It's always pre-ordained um, or pre-planned, pre-prepared. So you started to see the evidence emerge of Event 201, World Economic Forum, Klaus Schwab, simulation. And if you look, and you can find it on the internet, at um, what was said and, and all that was contributed to that, it was preempting what actually happened. The journey they want to take us to, or the journey they want to take us on, the outcome, which makes total sense of the last two years, is to create a society of total global control, 24-7 surveillance, and a structure that I call the Hunger Games Society, in which you have a tiny, tiny few globally at the top of the pyramid. At the bottom of the pyramid is basically the rest of the population in deprivation in poverty and dependency upon the few at the top. And if you want to control people, make them dependent on you. And this Hunger Games society, between those two points, the few and the many, I said they plan a vicious police, eventually police military state to impose the will of the, the tiny few, the 1%, it's actually less, upon the population and to stop the population um, challenging the 1%. And when you look at the last two years, that is precisely what has happened all over the world. You've seen decision-making, even taken out of the political level, really, to a few um, insiders and not even elected politicians, but medical experts, they call them, scientists, psychologists overwhelmingly, have been driving this policy all over the world. And when you look at countries like Canada, Israel, Italy, Australia has been transformed from what they perceived was a free country into um, a, a fascist state. Extraordinary levels of tyranny. Well, um, I have a, a phrase, um, know the outcome and you'll see the journey. If you don't know the outcome, i.e. where we're being taken, then Daily events appear to be random. This is happening, that's happening, that's happening, that's happening, that's happening. But when you know where we're being taken, then those apparently random events become very much connected. And you can see, far from being random, they are stepping stones towards that outcome. So, as I said in the first of these interviews in 2020, look at the potential at that time for transforming human society. It has been a massive um, example of something I dubbed back in the 90s, problem, reaction, solution. And there's another version of this, which is a no problem, reaction, solution. And what you do is you create a problem or the illusion of one, the perception of one. You tell the public through an unquestioning media, have we seen that in the last two years or not? The version of the problem you want them to believe. And you want them in a state of fear, in a state of anxiety, in a state of being open to the world being changed to deal with the alleged problem. 
And then at that point, you who have covertly created the problem or the illusion of it, got that public reaction, basically do something, or we're open to a solution being suggested, you then offer the solutions to the problems you have yourselves created. And those solutions are the incessant centralization of power, the incessant deletion of freedom, and the imposition of ever-gathering fascism on the fine detail of people's lives. That was in my books, what I've just said, back in the 1990s. So when this card was played, I could see immediately that this was a, if not a problem reaction solution, then a no problem reaction solution. I was open to either at the time. But the potential for global transformation of human society was so vast, it was obvious to me that this was no, again, random happening. Because, you know, I've been doing this a long time. I'm in the 32nd year now. And, you know, I've, I've looked at this on many different levels, including the psychology of those behind it, what I call the global cult. We can get into that. 